Hi everyone, it's David here at DigiTrains. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be looking at performing a decoder reset using the NCE PowerCab. This is a really useful thing to know and it's often the first bit of advice we give to customers when their decoders have suddenly started misbehaving or if you fiddle around with lots of CVs and you've forgotten what you've done. This is definitely the best course of action to reset your decoder back to its factory settings. Now, if it's a sound decoder you've ordered from us, um, don't worry, you won't lose any of your sounds. It will just reset the decoder back to how it was when it left us, so when you first installed your loco. Uh, a couple of things you need to know before we get started. If you have a programming track, make sure the loco containing the decoder you wish to reset is placed on it. If you don't have a programming track, you can use your layout. Just make sure that only the loco containing the decoder you wish to reset is placed on it. Any other locos that are on the layout would be reset as well. So obviously you probably don't want to do this. So just make sure it is the decoder in question. First, we need to access the Use Programming Track menu. We do this by pressing the Program Escape button four times. This button can be found on the bottom left-hand corner of your controller. Alternatively, you can press Program Escape and then button number four. I'll take you to the same menu. So once we see this menu, hit Enter. So if you've done that right, it will display this menu. It gives you three options. We need to select option two, which is simply done by pressing the button two. This will display the Program CV menu. Now the vast majority of decoders will be reset using CV8. So to access this, we simply press the number eight and press the enter key. This will then display a value for CV8. This number is the manufacturer ID of the decoder. So each manufacturer has its own unique ID. In this example, 145 means the decoder was manufactured by Zemo. I've listed some of the other common manufacturers and their IDs here. Now to reset our Zemo decoder, we need to enter the value of 8 and press enter. You may notice your loco perform a small shuffle when you've done this, that's a good sign. Now it's worth noting here that most decoders use the value of 8 to perform a reset, but not all of them do. So I'll post a link in the description showing the various manufacturer so their IDs and CV8 reset values. Like I say, the vast majority are 8, so Zemo... Um, Digitrax and ESU all use CV8 to reset their decoders, but some other manufacturers you'd have to put a different value in uh, so the decoder would reset properly. Now the screen will return to the program CV number screen. To get out to this we simply press the program escape button and that will take you back to the main running screen. Now when you return to the main running screen you will notice that the last loco you entered is still in the address bar there. So you will need to enter loco number 3 because your decoder has been reset and it will have returned to the default address of number 3. Now you'll be able to test your locomotive to see whether the reset has got rid of the problem that you were experiencing before. Well that brings us to the end of this little NCE PowerCab tips video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you have any suggestions for any future tips videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.